Kiki Bill. Trust us, uh, we're bananas. A A R D V A R K. I declare Noddy the champion of the sports day. <laughs> we will go, Noddy. We have to trick Alfred. Are you talking about me? No, Alfred. No. You look a right mess, but Here's your catalogue, Alf. I'm glad the little girl wrote to us, whispered Thomas to Percy. Isn't it wonderful what happiness a letter can bring? I think the ball is my favourite toy, thought Spot. Bringing you the best in children's video. There's a bear in there, and a chair as well. There are people with games and stories to tell. Open wide, come inside, it's play school. Hello, I'm using this doona to make a burrow. Shh, David's coming. Don't tell him where I am. Hello. Have you seen Angela? I wonder if she's hiding in that burrow. Shh. Pinky Boo! Oh! Yeah. Oh, not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh. Glenn's coming. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell him where I am. Yeah, yeah, do, 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 do. Hello. Have you seen David? You have? Where? In that burrow? No, he's not. Someone's coming. Uh, still can't find Angela. David hasn't found me yet. No! <laughs> oh, David. Angela. Now, where's Glenn? Yes, where is Glenn? Hmm. In the burrow. Shh. Yeah! Glenn! 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 Glenn. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're making this look like the Australian bush. A doona for a burrow, so animals can hide underground. And some cushions for rocks. Cardboard, paper gum trees. And this fabric for a waterfall flowing down into a creek and then into a billabong. Australian bush. Have you been to the bush? Have you seen the outback? Let's take a look off the beaten track. Let's leave the towns and cities far behind. Let's go to the bush and see what we can find in the bush. Watch the sun arise shining down. From a clear blue sky and the desert sand Stretches far across the land But when the rain falls, the flowers grow Swaying in the breeze to and fro in the bush 
great Australian bush. Have you been to the bush? Have you seen the outback? Let's take a look off the beaten track. Let's leave the towns and cities far behind. Let's go to the bush and see what we can find in the bush. Everywhere there are birds flying here and there. If you look around, you might see a koala up a tree, mountains high, topped with snow, waterfalls rushing down below in the bush, the great Australian bush. Have you been to the bush? Have you seen the outback? Let's take a look off the beaten track. Let's leave the towns and cities far behind. Let's go to the bush and see what we can find. Let's go to the bush and see what we can find. We're hiding some animals here in the bush. Angela has to find them. Here she comes. Hmm, animals. You going to help me find them? I think there could be one over here. There is someone who is hiding. Who is it? Do you know who? There is someone who is hiding. It's Koala! Peekaboo! Koala hiding in the tree eating gum leaves. I think there could be someone hiding in the burrow. There is someone who is hiding. Who is it? Do you know who? There is someone who is hiding. It's Wombat. Peekaboo. Wombat hiding in the burrow. Find someone else. I think there's someone over here hiding. You can just see her ears. There is someone who is hiding. Who is it? Do you know who? There is someone who is hiding. It's Kangaroo. Peekaboo. Kangaroo with Joey in her pouch. Boing, boing, boing. Boing. <laughs> David, what do you get when you cross a sheep with a kangaroo? I don't know, Glenn. What do you get when you cross a sheep with a kangaroo? A woolly jumper. A woolly jumper. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> Joey kangaroo with mother by its side. Joey likes to jump and play, but now it's time to hide. Baby's in the bush. Now who can you see? Koala clings to mother's fur high up in the tree. Mother qual and babies. Wait, here we come. In the bush at night time, hanging on to mum. Through the open grassland, the emu father stalks. Little chicks with little legs must run before they walk. Mother dingo padding through the ochre rocks. Fluffy dingo puppies, black noses, snow white socks. Swimming in the lily pads, a tiny little chick. It will grow as tall as mum, legs as thin as sticks. Pygmy possums licking, flowers that taste sweet. Hey, says the baby, leave me some to eat. Animals and babies, creatures rich and rare, echidnas with their prickles. Gliders with their tickles. Wombat in a pickle. Natives of Australia in a world that needs our care. A baby wombat and its mother. When wombats run, they sort of wobble from side to side. You too? Do the wombat wobble? Here we go. Side to side, walk to and fro. Wobble, wobble this side, wobble, wobble that. 
Wumpa, wumpa, wumpa like a wombat. And kangaroos jump. You jump too. Here we go. Do the kangaroo jump, now jump up high. Jump right up till you reach the sky. I like jumping, how about you? Jump, jump, jump like a kangaroo. And emus run on their long, long legs. Ready? Get set? Go! Just pick up your feet and run, run, run Fast as you can in the midday sun Let's go running, me and you Run, run, run like an emu And stop. Don's going to tell a story about another Australian animal. But what sort of animal? here today because I'm going to tell you a story about an animal that lives in a creek. The animal's name was Billy. And Billy was hatched from an egg deep in a burrow in the riverbank. When he crawled out of the egg, he crawled up onto the riverbank. But he was all alone. And Billy didn't know what kind of animal he was. So he set off to find out. The first thing Billy came to was a mother duck quacking and waddling along with her little ducklings waddling along behind her. Hmm, thought Billy, maybe, maybe I'm a duck. Am I a duck, he asked. The mother duck said, if you're a duck, you'll quack. Quack? Quack, 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 quack. The mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. The mother duck said, quack, quack. But when Billy tried to quack, quack, quack to prove he was a duck, well, he found he couldn't quack at all. So he knew he wasn't a duck. Well, the next thing Billy saw was a kangaroo hopping through the bush. Hmm, he thought, perhaps I'm a kangaroo. So he asked the kangaroo, am I a kangaroo? The kangaroo said, if you're a kangaroo, you hop, 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 hop. The kangaroo said hop, 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 hop. The kangaroo said hop, hop. But when Billy tried to hop, hop, hop to prove he was a roo, well, he found he couldn't hop at all. So he knew he wasn't a kangaroo. Hmm. Then Billy saw a magpie flying and swooping through the trees. I hope I'm a bird, he thought. Am I a bird, he asked the magpie. The magpie said, well, if you're a bird, you'll fly. Fly, 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 fly. The magpie said, fly, 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 fly. The magpie said, fly, fly. But when Billy tried to fly, fly, fly to prove he was a bird, Found he couldn't fly at all, so he knew he wasn't a bird. Well, Billy wasn't a magpie, he wasn't a kangaroo, and he wasn't a duck. What was he? He went back to the riverbank and he began to cry. Oh dear. Then he heard a soft rustling in the reeds behind him. He looked around and he saw a pair of large, brown, kind eyes looking at him. Hmm. What kind of animal are you, he said. I'm a platypus. Oh, am I a platypus, said Billy. The platypus said, yes, and I'm your mother. Come on, let's swim. Swim, 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 swim. The platypus said, swim, 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 swim. The platypus said, swim, swim. And when Billy tried to swim, 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 to prove he was a platypus, Found that he could swim very well, so he knew he was a platypus. Well, Billy couldn't fly, he couldn't quack, and he couldn't hop. But he was a great swimmer, and he was really glad that he was a platypus. And that's the end of the story.
I've got a toy platypus here. It's furry with a bill for scooping up food and webbed feet for swimming. It's a remarkable animal, the platypus. It swims like a fish. But it's not a fish. It lays eggs like a bird. But it's not a bird. It has fur like a wombat. But, but it's, it's not, not a wombat. wombat. It swims like a fish. Fish, fish, swish, swish, swish. But is it a fish? <laughs> fish, fish, swish, swish, swish. It's not a fish, uh-uh. It's not a fish, uh-uh. It lays eggs like a bird. Bird, bird, tweet, tweet, tweet. But is it a bird? Bird, bird, tweet, tweet, tweet. It's not a bird, uh-uh. It's not a bird, uh-uh. It has fur like a wombat. Wombat, wombat, dig, dig, dig. But is it a wombat? Wombat, wombat, dig, dig, dig. It's not a wombat, uh-uh. It's not a wombat, uh-uh. It's the platypus, the platypus. There's no other animal quite like us. It's the platypus, the platypus. The remarkable, wonderful platypus. Again, it's the platypus. The platypus. There's no other animal quite like us. It's the platypus. The platypus. The remarkable, wonderful platypus. The platypus. Yes, folks, it's me, the remarkable, the wonderful platypus. Yay! Off I go for a swim. Doom, 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 doom. I think there's someone in my creek. I think there's someone hiding under a lily pad. Can you see who it is? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. It's Fergus, Fergus the frog. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Frogs. Lots of different types of frogs. Let's play. 
Baby frogs. Hungry frogs. Gulp. Frogs eating. A frog. Ribbit. Give you a frog too. Ribbit. 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 Another frog. Ribbit. Ribbit. And another frog. Ready to jump out of your pond? Some frogs jumped out of their pond one day and found themselves in the rain. Said they will get wet and we might catch a cold. Achoo! So they jumped in the pond again. Frogs jump out of the pond. Frogs jump in the pond. Ready? Some frogs jumped out of their pond one day and found themselves in the rain. Oh, said they, we'll get wet and we might catch a cold. <laughs> so they jumped in the pond again. Frogs jump out of the pond. Frogs jump in the pond. Frogs jump out of the pond. Ribbit. Frogs jump in the pond. Ribbit. In the pond. Ribbit. Ribbit. Ah, oh. tricked you. <laughs> Did I trick you too? Have another go. Come on. In the pond to start with. Ribbit. Frogs jump out of the pond. Ribbit. Ribbit. Frogs jump in the pond. Ribbit. Frogs jump out of the pond. Ribbit. Ribbit. Out of the pond. Oh, didn't trick them that time. Ribbit. 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 How about you? Pauline's going to tell a story about a frog, but first, the clock. The long hand's pointing straight up, so it's something o'clock, and the short hand's pointing to the nine, so that's nine o'clock on the rock o'clock. Standing by for blast off. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, blast off! <laughs> On one side, a green speckly frog, and on the other, a lyre bird with beautiful tail feathers. Rip, croak. Today, the story is about a frog, Rip, croak, and a lyre bird. <whistles> now, the lyre bird. She went down to the creek one day for a drink. Now, a lyre bird, they are beautiful birds. They have long, beautiful tail feathers. And they sing and they dance. And they can make the sound of all the animals and the birds. Now, while lyre bird was down at the creek singing, she looked down and she saw a little green frog on a lily pad. The little green frog was trying to sing to the lyrebird, but nothing came out of his mouth. How strange, said the lyrebird. Everything, everything makes a sound, but this little green frog. Go on, try again, she said. And the little green frog, he tried, but still nothing came out. Oh, that's no good, said lyrebird. I'll have to teach him how to sing. So the lyrebird, she went down to the creek every day to teach that little green frog how to sing. She taught him how to sing the sounds of nature, you know, the wind and the sound of the rain, the sound of all the animals and the sound of all the birds. And the little green frog, he would be there every day and he would listen and he would practice until he was perfect. Quack, quack, quack. One day, the lyrebird said 
but the little green frog was ready and she called out to all the animals and to all the birds and to all the creatures to come, 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 come and listen to the little green frog. Later that night, when the moon was high and all the creatures they had gathered around that beautiful little creek, the little green frog jumped up onto its favourite lily pad and it started to sing. I'd sang the most beautiful songs, the songs of nature, like the wind in the trees, the sounds of all the animals, and also the sounds and songs of all the birds. And when he had finished, all the creatures, they clapped and they cheered the little green frog. And when they had gone home, Lyrebird, she went over to the little green frog and she said to him, I am so proud of you. You have learnt very well. And you know, you sing better than I do. And then the Lyrebird, she went off by herself. The little green frog. He jumped up onto his favourite lily pad. He puffed out his chest and he said, I am the greatest singer in the whole wide world. I sing better than the lyrebird. Yes, I do. He was so proud. But a little lizard, he heard the little frog showing off. And he said, oh, yeah? And the little green frog said, <clears throat> If I wanted to, I could sing the moon down from the sky so he would listen to me. And the little lizard said, Go ahead, go on, I dare you. So the little green frog, he tried. He sang and he sang and he sang. He sang so much, but the moon, he didn't listen to a note he made and he kept on sailing by in the sky. The little green frog, he didn't give up and he tried again and he really tried. He sang and he sang and he sang. He sang so hard and then suddenly nothing came out of his throat but a harsh croak. Oh, that little frog, he showed off so much that he hurt himself and all he can do now is croak. Croak, croak, croak. But the lyrebird she still sings very beautifully. And the little frog, quack, quack. they still croak because of that so proud little fellow in the dream time. And that's the story today. <laughs> Lyrebirds sing beautifully. They copy other sounds too. You copy the sounds that I make. <laughs> We do everything that Glenn does. We echo him. Echo. Echo. Echo song. Echo song. We can sing the echo song. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Echo, echo, echo song, echo song, we can sing the echo song. Echo, 
Echo Song, Echo Song. We have sung the Echo Song. <laughs> There's an instrument that you can use to copy sounds. A didgeridoo. <laughs> Put up your hands if you heard good day from the didgeridoo. Good day! Anyway, the first one I'm going to do is a little story. And uh, this is about the snake, as you can see on here. And where I come from, the snake's called Turu. Can you say Turu? Turu. And that means snake. So, this is the didgeridoo. We'll do the snake. <laughs> this fabric to look like the sandy desert. Yellow gold in the sand. Some dry spinifex bushes. And the hot, hot sun. Not very much grows in the desert, but there are animals, reptiles, that sit in the sun. Sit very still, very, very still, very, very, very still. Like the goanna. Goanna sits in the midday sun. But you should see goanna run. Are you ready? Get set. Go, 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 wanna go, 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 wanna go. Go, 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 wanna. See you later, Cheerio. Got you, David. All right. Your turn to be goanna now. My turn. Sitting down very still and very, very quietly. You doing it too? Go and sits in the midday sun. But you should see go and run. Ready? Set. Go, 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 Anna. Go, 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 Anna. Go, 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 Anna. See you later. 
my turn, sitting very still again. Try not even to blink. Go and I sit in the midday sun. But you should see go and I run. Ready? Set? Go, 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 See you later. Cheerio. Oh, see you later. Cheerio. There's another reptile that lives in the Australian bush, not in the desert, in rivers. And it's got very long, sharp teeth that go snap, snap, snap. A crocodile. John's going to tell a story about it. The Crocodile Hunt. Why don't we do the story about the man who went looking for a crocodile? You know it, don't you? All you've got to do is follow and do the things I do. One day a man woke up and he yawned and stretched. <laughs> Everybody on. Oh, oh, what a beautiful day. And he sat down and had a very healthy breakfast. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, lovely. Then he said goodbye to his friend. And he opened the go do go door, 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 bang, and he walked down the path. And he opened the gates. the street. Then he walked over the bridge. And he went through the long grass. The noise the grass makes, isn't it? Soon he came to the hill and he went up the hill. He got slower and slower as he got to the top and there he was. Way down sun's in his eyes if he didn't do that. Way down below he could see his friend. So what did he do? He said hello to him. Cooey! Didn't hear him, so he did it again. Cooey! He didn't cooey him back. Doesn't matter, because he went down the other side of the hill. It's as easy going down the other side, isn't it? And he got to the bottom, and he came to a billabong. It was a beautiful day, so he thought he'd swim across it. Swim. All the strokes. Well, he was going along fine, and all of a sudden he came across and bumped into a... Snap! 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 A crocodile! Snap! And he called out... Help! heard him so he did it again. Help! It didn't do any good so he swam back to the other side of the billabong as quickly as he could. Back where he came. Can we go as quickly as we can? All the strokes. The crocodile close up behind. Forget the back stroke. He got there and he ran along and he went up the hill. It was a steep hill but it didn't make any difference. He got as fast as he could till he got to the top and he looked down below saw his friend hadn't got time to say cooey but he would throw a quick one anyway. Cooey! That'll do. Down the other side. This is easier going down the other side. Then he came to the long grass. <laughs> Nearly home. <laughs> then over the bridge. Right. Up the street. Up the street. And he came to the gate. Through the gate. Oh, oh. Down the path. Walked right past his friend. Over the front door. Eep. Bang. And jumped into bed. And went to fast asleep. <sighs> I hope there are no crocodiles. <laughs> I'm taking Big Ted for a walk in the bush. You OK there, Big Ted? Good to see you've got your hat on. I've got my hat on. And I've got some binoculars. Peekaboo. And a camera. I've heard there are some interesting animals in these parts. 
Well, here we go. Ready for a walk in the bush you come to. Walking in the bush, walking in the bush. There is nothing quite like it. Walking in the bush, walking in the bush, walking in the bush. There is nothing quite like it. Walking in the bush. <coughs> did, did you see that bird? <coughs> Try and get a bit closer. Get this yellow crest on its head. Aha, yes. It's a cockatoo. <laughs> I'll see if I can take its picture. Oh. It's gone. Never mind. Wonder if we'll see something else. Walking in the bush, walking in the bush. There is nothing quite like it. Walking in the bush, walking in the bush, walking in the bush. There is nothing quite like it. Walking in the bush. Did you hear something? Oh. See something behind that sand dune? Oh. I'll sit here very quietly. Maybe it'll come closer. Oh. It's a frill necked lizard. Let's see if I can take its picture. Missed again. Oh well, off we go again. Walking in the bush, walking in the bush. There is nothing quite like it. Walking in the bush, walking in the bush, walking in the bush. There is nothing quite like it. Walking in the bush. Whoops. Oh, it's a kangaroo. Snap, snap. No, no, it's not. It's, 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 a, it's a crocodile. No, no, it's a crockeroo. Snap, snap. Oh, no, 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 it's a kangada. It's, oh, I don't know what it is. Snap, snap. But I don't think we should wait around to find out. Come on, quick, Ted. Well, you wouldn't really see an animal like this walking in the bush, would you? We're going to see someone camping in the bush now. It's Colin. How you going? Are you hot yet? Yes. Puffed. <laughs> Hello, I'm Colin. And this is Elliot. And this is Laura. And we're looking for a camp spot. Yeah? Let's go. Come on. Looking like a good camp spot? Yes. Right up. We'll get the stuff out of the backpack. This is a great camp spot. Can I help you, Dad? Um, Thank you. Okay. Because it's flat and some rocks to sit on. I think it's a beauty. All right. Undo one. Got our billy cam here. All right. I'll draw this. Okay. We've got a tent. <laughs> Elliot's jumper. Yeah. Sleeping bag. Oh, yeah. I'm like, sleeping bag. Yeah. Yeah, my sleeping bag. <laughs> now, <laughs> what a wally. Now, listen here. What about a tent? <laughs> you get, let's put those there. Mm. We're going to spread the tent out because we need somewhere to sleep. Yeah. Someone up that end, you spread it out. Look, I was glad to sleep already. Okay, right, you rest there and put the tent out. Uh, uh, it's very hard to do this on your own, you know. All right. Looks like I'm going to have to work hard here. Some sticks. See those sticks? Oh, I'll get them. Now, did you see where the string went, Elliot? Can you find it for me? His tent pole. That one on there. Hey Laura, will you put the cups out on our kitchen table? Elliot, I'm going to need you to hold something here in a minute. Hmm? I think our tent will fall down. I hope it doesn't. This one can go. Why does it bring the other things? What other things, mate? 
Gonna sleep in the tent with me. Please. You're holding it, Elliot. Hold, it. hold it still, mate. Okay, I'm we'll not... fix that up in a minute. Keep holding it. Now. Daddy, we just made a big more bigger. And some rocks. Where are we just through? There. It's starting to look like a tent. Sort of. Where are we you wanna get in? Yeah. We'll have to knock on the door. Be careful, Elliot. We don't want our tent to fall down. Now one there. Is there one looking at the door? Oh. Come in! Oh, Aha! Already in here. A tent! Hmm. <laughs> sleeping bags inside. Oh, we've got sleeping bags. Hang on, sit in. You sit in and I'll I'll hand it in to you, Elliot. In you get. In you get, Laura. There's one for Elliot. There's <laughs> Laura's! Is it? It's going to be cosy in this tent, I can tell you. My sleeping Hey, before we have a rest, I nearly forgot. We've got to have some tucker. Time for soup. In here, wait till I pour it. One in there. Yum. Yum. And one in there. Wait. One for Laura. And one in there. All right, time for soup. Mmm. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Mm. Let's put it down. Daddy, we'll it, why we'll, is too hot? Is it? Well, let's let it cool down and let's sing a song called a Ram, Ram Sam Sam. Sam. Yes, yeah, we go. A Ram Sam Sam. A Ram Sam Sam. Gooly 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 and a Ram Sam Sam. A Rafi, a Rafi. Gooly 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 and a Ram Sam Sam. Can we do it quicker? No! Let's try it, let's try it. No, a ram sam sam, a ram sam sam, gully 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 and a ram sam sam, a rafi, a rafi, gully 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 and a ram sam 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 sam. You tired? Yeah, Shall we go to bed? Wait, yeah. I've forgotten. We need to get. Elliot, could you get out the torch? Oh, yeah. I'll catch it the does torch. get dark in the bush. Into the tent. Right. I turn the light on. Okay, you turn the light on. Yep, in I go. Light. All right. In you go. I'm going in the back door. That's my sleeping bag. Come in with me. My shinka. No, in, Elliot, in you come. All right. My shinka. Come for bed. Good night. My shinka. Ah. Ah. Ram sam sam. Ah. Ram sam sam. Gooly 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 and the ram sam sam. Do you think that tent will stay up? Well, it's time for another story now, and I am helping to tell it. Hello, I'm Mother Echidna, and I'm Baby Echidna. These are hand puppets. When I move my fingers inside them, it looks as if the Echidna's moving. Hello, I'm Mother Echidna, and I'm Baby Echidna. Echidna puppets, and there's lots of other puppets too. Which I'm going to work in just a moment. Here's the story. Ants for lunch. It was lunchtime in the bush, and all the bush animals were getting themselves something to eat, including Mother Echidna and her baby. Mum, I'm hungry. What's for lunch? Ants, darling. Oh, Mum, we always have ants. Can't we have something different today? But we're echidnas. That's what we eat. Ants. Our other name is Spiny Anteater. Now go for a little walk, darling, but don't be too long. I'm just preparing the ants for lunch now. Off we go. Baby Echidna walked along the bush track, grumbling. Oh, ants. I'm so sick of ants. 
I never want to eat another ant. Ants, ants, ants are not the food for me. I'd like some yummy food to eat, but ants are not, not my favourite treat. Uh uh, no way. Just then, she looked up, and there in a tree was a sleepy koala eating gum leaves. <laughs> munch, munch, eat my lunch. Oh, hello, koala. <laughs> hey, wake up. Could I try one of your gum leaves, please? Oh, sure. Catch. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm. Munch, mm. munch, eat some lunch. Yuck, 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 yuck. Gum leaves, gum leaves are the food for me. I'd like some yummy food to eat, but gum leaves aren't my favourite treat. Mm. I could have told you that, baby echidna. No. Baby Echidna was walking on along the track when she bumped into her friend, Kangaroo. And Kangaroo was nibbling on some grass. Munch, munch, eat my lunch. Oh, hello, <coughs> Kangaroo. Huh. Do you think I could try some of your grass? Sure. I've got some spare here in my pocket. Oh, thank you. Mmm, grass, eh? Munch, munch. Eat my lunch. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Grass, grass, grass is not the food for me. I'd like some yummy food to eat, but grass is not my favourite treat. <laughs> I could have told you that, baby echidna. Boy, boy, boy. Baby echidna was walking on when she heard a very loud noise coming from a tree. Lunch! Lunch! I've lost my lunch! Oh. Hello, cockatoo. What's the matter? Well, I've dropped the seeds I was eating down there somewhere. If you can see them, baby echidna, you can have one. Oh, oh uh, here they are. Oh, well, have one on me. Thank Thank you. Mmm, seeds. Munch, munch, eat some lunch. Oh, oh gosh, how do you crack these seeds? I can't eat seeds. Seeds, seeds, seeds are not the food for me. I'd like some yummy food to eat, but seeds are not my favourite treat. <laughs> I could have told you that, baby echidna. <laughs> baby echidna was getting really hungry by now. Maybe ants wouldn't be so bad for lunch after all. She just turned around to walk back down along the track. When... <laughs> it was Dingo. <laughs> Hello there, baby echidna. What have you been up to today? <laughs> Hello, Dingo. Well, I was sick of eating ants, so I was asking all my friends what they like to eat. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, um, um, koala liked to eat gum leaves, but I didn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, a kangaroo liked to eat g g grass, but I didn't. Uh-huh. <laughs> and um, cockatoo liked to eat seeds, but I didn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, would you like to know what dingoes like to eat? Well, yes, I'd like to know that very much, dingo. <laughs> well, dingoes like to eat <laughs> baby echidnas. <laughs> dingo pounced at baby echidna, wanting to eat her up. But echidnas are very clever. Baby echidna rolled herself into a ball with all her spines sticking out. And one of the spines stuck into Dingo's nose. Ow! Ow! And Dingo ran off into the bush. Ow! Ow! 
When baby echidna was very sure that Dingo had gone, she uncurled and she ran home along the bush track as fast as her little echidna legs would carry her. Oh, oh, oh. oh hello, darling. You're just in time for lunch. I'm afraid it's ants. Oh, that's all right, Mum. Ants will be just fine. Oh, good. Well, start eating then. Munch, eat my lunch. Munch, 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 eat some lunch. Munch, 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 munch. And baby Echidna ate ants until she couldn't fit one more into her very full tummy. Ants, ants, ants are just the food for me. I love those yummy ants to eat. Yes! Ants are just the food for me. Oh, ants, don't you just love them? Mm -mm. And that's the end of the story. More ants. Ants in the bush. And in the spring, the bush is full of flowers. What coloured flowers can you see? Just imagine 
a river, and on the river is a colour of the rainbow. And that rainbow, it's growing and it's growing and it's growing. It's getting all the colours from all around the place. Yes, what a special rainbow, isn't it? Now, that's right. Now, you just watch that rainbow and it's growing and it's growing and it's growing. But do you know what happened with this special rainbow? He exploded and all the pieces of the rainbow fell down to the earth and they start changing into birds. And some of those birds, they were really scared. And they started screaming out, going like this, ah, ah, like the crow. And others, they thought it was really funny. And they started laughing like this, ah, ah, like the kookaburra. And yet others, oh, they loved that feeling of falling down. And they spread their wings and they started to fly. And they started to sing. And that is how, in New South Wales, we got the birds and all their colours and the voices. What kind of bird did you see in your imagination? Maybe you saw a kookaburra in your imagination. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh. Kookaburra gay, your life must be. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush. The old gum tree. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Kookaburra gay, your life Kookaburra laugh. Kookaburra gay, your life must be. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra laugh. Kookaburra gay, your life must be. David, what bird is a good cook? I don't know, Angela. What bird is a good cook? A kookaburra. <laughs> Get it? A cook. A burra. <laughs> <laughs> We've looked at lots of different birds and animals, and they all live in Australia. Colin sing a song about Australia. I can see the mighty cliffs, I can see the gorges, rocks and trees, rolling seas, we live in a big land. I can see the rivers flow, I can see the deserts, the forests tall, the waterfalls, we live in a big land. Won't you come and look with me, lots and lots and lots to see in the hot, hot sun on the red, red sand, Australia is a big land. I can see the animals running, flying, swimming, big and small, one and all, living in a big land. I can see the setting sun, I can see the mountains, they've been here so many years. We live in a big land Won't you come and look with me Lots and lots and lots to see In the hot, hot sun on the red, red sand Australia is a big land I can see the mighty cliffs, I can see the gorges, rocks and trees, rolling seas, we live in a big land. Won't you come and look with me, lots and lots and lots to see in the hot, hot sun on the red, red sand. Australia is a big land, Australia is a big, big land. 